Okay, so today what we're going to be doing is installing a set of our polyurethane um, rear upper shock mount bushings um, for your existing factory suspension kit. So that we'll replace these soft foam uh, pieces that are on the top and bottom of this, uh, uh, this strut bearing on top. So that's what we're going to be doing. It'll give you much more precision in the rear end, take away a lot of that slop and kind of softness and squishiness feel that you get out of the factory setup. So it'll be much more precise and much longer lasting as well. So we'll go ahead and show you how to take this off and install these pretty quickly. So what you're going to need is basically a 16 millimeter wrench uh, and an Allen key to hold the shaft um, steady. Um, so what you're going to do basically is uh, put the Allen key in the end of the shaft like, like so, and then take your ratcheting wrench and literally just start to break those loose. Just keep going until it comes completely off. And you don't have to worry too much about the, these um, factory mini springs on front or rear um, in terms of using spring compressors. Um, obviously point the, the shock away, um, away from you so it doesn't uncompress and hit you with any parts. But uh, the springs are not under that much tension. Um, and when you get the, uh, the nut fully off the shaft, they're pretty much detensioned almost 100%. So they literally won't go shooting across the room or kill anybody. Um, same with putting them back together. So um, spring compressors aren't needed uh, to do this kind of work. Um, so to speed things up, we're just going to use our air wrench to take off that uh, nut um, on the end of the shock there. But basically, most people are going to be using a 16 millimeter wrench and uh, an Allen key to remove that. And you always want to, when you finish, you always want to by hand with the wrench and the Allen key snug that out to make sure it is fully seated. So let's go ahead and just bang that apart. And you'll see um, how much the suspension kind of comes apart when we do that with the uh, air wrench. I usually just hang out to the spring. That's about it. Really not much at all. And so here's our soft, our soft rubber foam, actually foam, not rubber, foam bushing, and here's our harder polyurethane unit. Okay, so we're going to put those back on. So you just simply take off the top cap as such. You can see the bushing in there, the foam, the factory foam one. Pop that out. And, uh, grab the new polyurethane one, insert the, uh, the metal sleeve inside it. Go ahead and set that back on the shaft. Now go ahead and take your perch, set that back on top of the shaft, and then uh, take the top part of the bushing, set it on top, put the washer on, and the nuts, and that's about it. Um, it's pretty easy to, to, to have somebody set this on the floor and actually put their weight on it and push down enough so that somebody can get the finger, uh, finger tighten the nut and get it started. And then you can go through the process with the wrench and the allen key of tightening it all back up and together. And that way you get a much more, like I said, you get much more precision and, and uh, longevity out of these top mounts that way.